I want to talk to you briefly today about adoption and uh, some of the questions that commonly come up about the adoption process. Many people view adoption as being a very complicated and expensive process. It really doesn't have to be that way, especially in cases where there's complete agreement on the adoption. For example, perhaps you'd like to adopt a stepchild and the birth parent agrees with that. That is a fairly simple process. How is it done? Generally, we file a petition for adoption and there are a few steps that you need to go through before the adoption will be approved. One is that you need to take a criminal background check. This is pretty straightforward. They're looking for people that could be harmful to a child. The next thing that has to happen is you either have to have been living with this child or perhaps there needs to be a home study done. This is a process where someone from the uh, state uh, social services part of our government would come out, look at the home and make sure it's a safe place to have a child. After that, it's fairly straightforward. The paperwork can be filed and at the end of the process, there can be a new birth certificate and you can adopt a child. This can be very important and gratifying, not only to you, but especially the child. We've seen many circumstances with even older children where this means a tremendous amount to them to know that someone's been adopted. Perhaps their mother or father biological has not been around and someone else is stepping into the picture and this means a tremendous amount to them and to their family and it would probably mean a lot to you as, as you become an adopted parent.